Fragile must be Italian. Here's a look at the Joseph Enterprises. This is a Christmas story. Talking Clapper. Celebrate the holiday season with these combined classics. The original classic film, A Christmas Story, and the all-time classic, The Clapper, now with the talking nightlight. The very first thing we're going to do is measure off to the very top, just in case you're curious as to how tall the Christmas clapper is. That's a lot of C's. We're going to put the tape measure right to the very top. I'd also like to send out a big thank you, if I can, to the folks over at Joseph Enterprises, who were very nice, nice enough to send a sample my way. If you guys are interested in picking up the clapper for yourself, it's not available in stores just yet. However, I can put the link down below to the Amazon store where you guys can pick this up for yourself if you are interested. Before we do anything though, I gotta tell you the necessary 411s of how tall this is, just in case you're wondering. It's a service and a gift I'm more than happy to provide you guys this holiday season. I don't even wrap it. It's, you see it right in front of you. Right here, 4.8 inches in height is the new Christmas Story Clapper. And that in centimeters works out to be 12.2 almost 12 and a half centimeters tall. Yes, as I said, it's not available in stores just yet, but it is currently available on Amazon's website. So I'll put the link down below. Included with the Christmas Story Talking Clapper and Nightlight, you get yourself a Christmas Story Talking Clapper with Nightlight instruction guide. Don't worry, don't let the number of pages throw you off feeling like that's an extensive read. It's simple to read instructions, telling you that basically in the opener here, all the functions that it features, the speaker, the microphone, and the receptacle, of course, for your appliance, and as well is an on and off switch don't worry we'll cover off on all of that on the other side it shows you how to function and use the clapper which is pretty much the same in fact if i'm not mistaken the same instructions that we would have gotten back in the 80s days of clappers i think i may have had one or two clappers in my day and the instructions for this is about the same before we actually get down to using the clapper, obviously I'm going to show you guys how it works. We want to just get a close look at the clapper itself. Obviously mimicking the original crate that the old man had delivered to his door. I've already watched Christmas Story one time this year, and I suspect if Lady Lux smiles down on me the way that she is, we might get a second viewing in before the 25th of December. If you've managed to watch Christmas Story this year, let me know down below in the comment section. And also let me know if you've never seen the movie. Don't worry, we're not going to judge here, but one of the all-time classics. You have to set yourself some time and watch the Christmas Story. Just a fantastic movie. Just a classic. But the original uh, crates in the film kind of is depicted here in the night light. As you can see, much like in the film, the crates got all the li little signage here, like fragile, which is actually fragile. This end up with complete with arrow and the same mimicked on the front. By this point, of course, it looks like the crate's already been opened, revealing the prize, the major award that the old man has won. Much to, I'm sure, the chagrin of his wife, of course, who does not want the leg lamp in the house. i uh, love to get, uh, eventually, a full-scale replica of the leg lamp. I've got a smaller version right now, but love to get the full effect, a full-scale replica, which NECA actually is producing a 20-inch replica full-size leg lamp. But I digress. I like the fact that it is raised almost as if you could pull the leg lamp from the crate itself. Obviously, it's not going to be going anywhere. Let's look at a couple of the features here. On the side, you've got your on and off switch that will control and dictate whether you want to actually hear the audio clips or not for the clapper. You can certainly turn them off if you want and just rely solely on the clapping function as well as the nightlight. Of course, you've got your plug located on the back that will plug into any outlet you have available on your wall. The receptacle on the underside for whatever you decide to plug in. I would probably lean towards something that you don't have to worry about having it accidentally turned off. You don't want your mother coming up applauding you for the good job that you've had during your day and realizing later you had your laptop plugged in there and she's lost all of your work. Oh, fiddlesticks. So I definitely would recommend probably plugging a lamp in. That's what I'm going to be using when I show you guys how it works. 
Uh, and then also we've got up at the top there, we've got the speaker that's going to project the sound, the audio clips from the movie. And then you've got your microphone on the front for the effects, or of course, when you are clapping, it's going to be what's registering that to control the, the functionality of the Christmas clapper here. Obviously, I'm going to show you guys how it really does work, but I'm just going to give you a quick instructions. When you are clapping to turn it on and to turn it off, you're going to clap, pause, and clap again. You probably do a little bit faster than what I've just done, and that will turn on and off the light or whatever it is you have currently plugged into your clapper. If you add an extra clap, well, that's going to now summon all the audio effects, the audio clips from the movie. Again, if you don't want the audio clips, you can simply switch it to off and you really don't have to then worry about hearing those audio clips. Personally speaking for me, because I am such a big fan of the movie, I would much welcome the idea of being able to turn on my lamp and to also be able to hear the audio clips. So let's give that a try right now. Christmas Story is a beloved classic for me and many others. It's one of those annual traditions that I've watched ever since I was young and every single year, without fail I think, I've watched Christmas Story at least once during the month of December. Sometimes even two. Sometimes if you stumbled also onto TBS back in the day, I remember very vividly they were running the Christmas Story 24 hour marathon. Maybe that might have been too much Christmas Story. But certainly, as an annual tradition, I'd like to get the movie in as close to the end of December as I possibly can, just before the 25th. I was an anxious child waiting for, of course, to see what the presents were underneath the tree, and I had to watch the movie sooner, but I probably most definitely will be watching it again before the 25th. The one thing that I also remember growing up as a kid, not only is Christmas Story, but also some of the product commercials that I used to see on TV, kind of getting closer to the holiday season. One, two that actually stand out in my mind were the original clapper. I still remember that older woman in her bed clapping to turn off the lamp. And the other product I remember growing up and seeing around the holiday season was the Chia Pet. Wanting to relive out my nostalgia, I did have clappers growing up, but I just recently picked up a Chia Pet. Not as successful as I had certainly would have hoped. I think I probably wasn't watering it as much as I did, but I'm giving it the college try, and most definitely I'm going to probably see if I can get some shrubbery growing on my Chia Pet before the end of uh, December. So much like the nostalgia of growing up with those products, imagining now, if you will, taking one of your all-time favorite Christmas movies and one of your really most memorable products growing up and putting them together in a happy medium, a marriage, if you will, you've got the Christmas story talking clapper with nightlight. Not only do you get the benefit of having a nightlight and the clapping, of course, being able to turn on and off whatever, whatever thing you've got plugged into the clapper, but you've also got audio clips from the movie itself. This could easily now become an annual tradition for me where watching Christmas Story, I might have my smaller version of the leg lamp nearby plugged in to the Christmas Story talking clapper, and I can turn it on and off by simply just clapping. Well, you know how a clapper works. If you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, as I said, it's not going to be available in, in stores just yet, but you can head on over to the Amazon link that I'll provide down below in the video description, and you can order yours right now. I'd like to send out a big thank you to the folks over at Joseph Enterprises who are very nice enough to send this sample my way. If you guys are new to this channel or a long time viewer, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And if I don't get a chance between now and then, I would like to wish all my viewers a very happy holidays and Merry Christmas. There's going to be a whole lot of videos still lined up uh, for the rest of this year. So keep your peepers peeled for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.